Happy St. Patrick's Day, Bloom Trojans. This is the Friday Show. Coming up on today's edition of Bloom Scene, Drama Club has a special visit. I'm your host, Anae Torres. On activities, we have Darian Walker, and on sports, we have Armani Harris. It is Friday, March 17, 2023, and you are watching Bloom Scene. Now for our top story. Next week is spring break. That means Bloomstein will be off the air until Tuesday, March 28th. Enjoy your vacation. Do you speak another language other than English? Do you want to earn college credit and have more job opportunity? Then you should take the Seal of Literacy test. The Seal of Literacy is an honor given by the state of Illinois and Bloom Township District 206 to recognize students who are bilingual in English and any other language. This award is given at graduation and is on your diploma and transcripts. Please see your counselor to sign up or scan the QR code on the flyers around school. We celebrate bilingualism and biliteracy. That's it for announcements. Let's go to Darian with your activities. Thanks, Renee. The spring musical hairspray is in rehearsals now. We are excited to see what Drama Club has in store for us. This past February, Drama Club had a visit from a famous graduate, Lucene Cambridge. What's going on everybody? I'm Lucy Cambrick. I'm class of 2018 and I'm here with the Drama Club of 20, what year is this? 2023. Lucian joined Drama Club his junior year, so he was actually a student in my Honors Humanities class. And uh, he, for his first role was a starring role as Cat in the Hat in Seussical the Musical. And then he went on to play the role of Lumiere in Beauty and the Beast. And he ended his season, uh, his senior year, as Mike TV in Willy Wonka. Um, so working with Lucian was an absolute joy. Um, I always say he was just one of my favorite members of Drama Club, not only because he was so talented, but because he was willing to take on any role. Um, for one of the shows that we did, we had a uh, double cast. So the days that he was not uh, a star, he um, basically filled in in any place that we needed him. Um, so he really was a joy to work with. So Lucian actually started his career in TV and in movies before he even graduated. Uh, so before he graduated, um, he was on a couple of commercials. So he was in Comcast commercials. Uh, he, I believe he was in two episodes of Chicago PD. Uh, he was in a couple episodes of The Shy. Um, and then since graduating, he's been in a couple of movies. Um, and his most recent uh, success is starring in um, Power Book 4 which is on STARS. Um, just recently, I was able to see one, another Bloom Drama alum perform at the Shakespeare Theater uh, in a debut of The Notebook, uh, which was really wonderful. Um, it's just wonderful to see them still pursuing theater after leaving Bloom. So we are currently in rehearsals for our spring musical, which is Hairspray, and we will be performing that April 20th through the 22nd in Bloom's Workman Auditorium. We are also working on our IHSA contest play. Um, this year we are participating in the musical review category, and we are doing a, an abridged version of Little Shop of Horrors. Thank you, Lucene and Mrs. Zeger. Prom 2023, Enchanted Evening will be here before you know it. Prom tickets are on sale in the bookstore for $100 during lunch periods. In order to purchase a ticket, you must have a signed permit slip and pay 10% of your fees. We are only selling 375 tickets. Once we sell out, we are done. Prom will be held at Giorgio's Banquets in Orland Park from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Doors close at 8.30 p.m. and no one will be allowed in after that. Post Prom will be held at Odyssey Fun World from 11.45 until 2.30 a.m., but doors close at 12.15 a.m. We are very excited for this year's prom. That is it for activities, now let's go to our money with sports. Thanks, Darion. The girls' soccer team had their home opener yesterday, Thursday, March 16th, on Starfield against Elmwood Park. We should have a score for that game when we return from spring break. The girls have spring break off. Their next game is Monday, March 27th, against Rev Revis. They also play Lincoln Way West, and Evergreen Park this week. The baseball team lost their home opener to Juliet on Wednesday, March 15th with a score of six to nine. The baseball team is scheduled to play Bremen. We hope to have news about the game when we return from the break. The baseball team will be busy over spring break, playing Revis on Monday, March 20th, Argo on March 21st, 
and TF South on March 22nd. The baseball team also plays on our first day back from spring break on Monday, March 27th against Shepard. Softball season begins in less than a week on Monday, March 20th. The boys and girls track teams are at the Gene Armour Inventational this weekend. That's it for sports. Let's take it back to Winnet. That's Boom Scenes. Teachers and staff and member team are your announcements to Mr. Cook. Have a great spring break and we'll see you here again. Thank you.